to Friday's live trading and I hope you're very well. It is uh, just after half past seven and so we're just looking through the markets here with the guys in the trading room at the moment and um, I've got an idea of what I'm going to be looking at so um, we'll come back to this probably closer towards eight o'clock. Okay, just back and um, so we're looking at a potential long on the pound here so um, I'm just looking to see if it sort of comes back up to this high here then I'll look to um, to buy it with a stop just down below the low so um, we'll get a couple of units in and um, see if it can go up to about 99 um, would be the first target but I mean not far away um, but that would be the first target and then around about 03 by looks of things second target so why am I not just buying it here um, good question I could do but um, basically I'm playing a 5 minute 50 and 8 a.m. pivot combo this morning and it has hit those but the way that it's done it is not a normal way it's not pulled back to it it's actually come up to it so from underneath a little bit so that's why I'm just um, uh, watching a little bit anyway fingers on the tr trigger here fingers on the buzzer and so uh, yeah morning Ben and so um, I'll um, just watch this and if it blips up just a little bit more then I'll um, I'll, I'll hit it but um, here we, now I'm waiting for it to move and, um, and we've got the videotape running here we go so okay so let's put put a long in now, I could have just bought the high there I've got one unit in at the moment let's see if we can get a second unit in hold on now what I'll do here yeah I'll get a second unit in here okay right so it's two units in um, stop down at um, 81 um, so mine will be 82 on mine um, because the way that it works with my broker that means that um, um, it will stop me out at 81 anyway. Um, so I'm just going to put the stops in. So 128. Now, okay. So the the trades are in. Um, like I said, the first target's not far away because it's just the uh, the daily. Actually, I'm going to bring up a ticket because it could go there very quickly. Um, so let's bring one of the tickets up um, it's really you know it's only like nine pips to first target that's the daily r1s what um, daily r1 pivot which is up at 99.7 so practically um, um, 120 129 um, so we'll see if it can um, run up there now I could have bought it just that little bit lower but because of the way that this let me just show you what I mean here just let's bring up a pen what happened here is we had this move down and the pivot came in right about here this is where the 8am pivots come in bang on where the 5 minute 50 is but as you can see price had come below that 5 minute 50 and then came back up to it and the 8am pivot at 8am so we had this initial reaction down so I wanted to make sure that we were going to try and breach this high here that's why I was waiting for that high to get taken um, before going in rather than just buying it any, anywhere here where I could have got a slightly better price um, because all that could have happened is we could have just rolled down from there whereas it's come up to it to test to then roll over so I was just waiting to see if that was just initial reaction um, um, or not so that's why hence why I just waited for um, to put that price in a little bit higher so anyway I shall press pause actually no I don't need to so um, I'll just leave it because it's this could happen so quickly that um, um, that may not have time to do that so um, yeah uh, it's, it's nearly there so we're um, um, hopefully I didn't hit it I didn't hit ah that might have hit it on the charts there. I'm, I was typing to the room there. It may have just hit it. I'm just going to have a look off screen. Um, if it has, a, uh, yeah, while I've been faffing around there, I was just putting a message into the trading room and um, it must have just, just hit it. But never mind. Um, <laughs> it might come back up to that level yet. So we'll see. So um, that wasn't the best, is it? I should have put a limit order in, really. Because um, sometimes they hit, they go up so quickly that. Um, don't get much chance so um, anyway we'll see if it can go back up there um, and obviously I've got a second target well I've said 03 but we could look at 08 actually 
Let me have a look at the higher time frames to make sure I'm not missing something because I'm treating this as an out and out day trade. Um, but there could be some higher levels. Yeah, actually, we'll try and run it through those um, and see if it can run up to sort of 25. I see some potential maybe to run up to about 25. Um, so um, I'll do that. So we'll take the first one off if I can get there um, again. If it gets back up to 129 area, um, we'll see what, what level it actually hit. Uh, no, I won't worry at the moment. Um, it does look like it was about there, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, no, it definitely hit on my charts off screen. So um, anyway, we'll um, we'll see. I could put a limit order in. Actually, let's do that. Um, while I'm talking, sometimes you can miss stuff. So. See, like I said, I put my stop in at 82 because of mine. If I put a stop in at 82, it has to go below 82 on the ask in order for me to get filled. So, um, so that means I get stops out at 81 anyway. Um, right, the uh, the order 129. Let's put it in at 129. Okay, so I've now got an order, so it, it has to go to. Well, it'd have to breach 129, so it'd have to go above 129 on the on the bid actually, which is basically means I'm asking for a little bit more um, but um, and then um, I mean because what I'm trying to do here is just out and out day trade um, today and uh, rather than getting into trades and then just just saying oh well, I'm just gonna let it run um, don't do enough out and out um, day trading on these uh, videos um, it's just conducive to the markets and um, summer markets and all that, um, but um, but sometimes you say, oh no, I can see something. I'm not looking at the bigger, much of the bigger picture, so I can see some potential for some some sort of trades, and let's see how that goes. So um, for now, there's nothing. Although, so because I'm out, out and out day trading it, people then start saying, well, okay, well, what would you do? You stop, you know, if you get if you get half off, will you? Uh, manage your stop will you move your stop up um, um, it still has to be done technically the potential is to move the stop below this this spike low here um, but I, I think that's getting very um, acute on the management so I think at the moment the stop below here is is fine so uh, we shall see I mean once we if we break higher and then do another little retrace and then start coming up again then I can then start looking at manage, stop management but um, I don't think I would um, bother this at this point. Now what would happen if the pound just came and reacted all the way back down here well if the pound did something like that so be it I get stopped out and it's my fault for um, faffing around whilst um, as the price actually hit that pivot but it was so you know accurate in it in its hit um, it would have been very difficult to have manually um, executed because it just went up and blipped basically, didn't it? So, um, so if it was to roll over and I just got stopped, it would just be one of those, put it down to one of those things and be a bit of a shame. Anyway, I shall stop rambling. We're already eight, eight minutes in, so um, I'll press pause. Okay, so just back, and we can see that the pound's done this little retracement and has come back up again. So this is actually the perfect place if the pound does get up and hit that target. It's still not quite hit 129 yet. So if the pound does get up there and hit that 129, this is now the perfect place to start trailing that stop up. So if we can take that f that first that or hit that first level now, um, then the stop will get trailed to around about you know 87. I'll put it just a bit below here. So um, so it will get trailed. Could I trail it now? In theory, yeah. Um, let's have a look. If I trailed the stops up now. Um, could it want to still come back down and then still go higher? Let me have a look at the charts off screen. Because you have to sometimes allow uh, a market room to breathe. Um, but at the same time, there are times when you say, actually, it's done its thing now. It, it doesn't need to do to come back down again, which I don't think it needs to come back down again, I must admit, now now I've seen it do this. But um, no, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it for now. Um, we'll wait until, um, see if it hits that first target first of all. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, just back, and um, so we can see that the you know the pound did this double top. Got so close again to my that first target. We haven't moved the stop up, so we've left. We've actually moved the stop up by a pip down here. So the stop's now, at, um, funny enough, at eighty. 
well, it's actually now at 82. I've got it in at 83, which would stop me out at 82. Um, so I've only moved it up by a pip. Um, so I'm giving it that slack still. But we'll see what happens. So I'm giving it a, enough room. It's not enough pips to really worry about it. Um, and if I trailed the stop to here, yes, it could be the right decision if I moved it below this low. But sometimes, I was just saying to the guys in the room, it could just nick down and then turn around and go higher again. So um, um, I don't want to... Um, trade it too tight. So at the moment, um, that's it. We're just carrying on watching this one. Okay, right. And uh, just back. And looks like the, well, I have just been stopped out on the pound um, here. That would be really funny if by trailing it up by that one pip, um, it did come all the way back up. But anyway, uh, let's take a screenshot. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter. I don't suppose the positions I'm in at the moment. Um, I could show you the accounts because I think okay. Um, okay, so lost 127 pounds on this pound. Okay, so here's the two entries at 90, and yeah, both of them were at 90, 90 and a half, and it got stopped out at 82s, whatever. So 127 pound loss on there, on the um, on the pound there. Um, obviously, I mean, you can see I'm in other positions. I'm always in other positions, but it doesn't really matter too much about those other positions at the moment. Um, sometimes I don't like to show you the counts if I'm in early position, early stage positions. Um, but um, which might actually be sometimes underwater, but um, I don't want um, that being um, shown because otherwise potentially loads of people watching the videos could watch, um, could if they wanted to, um, follow along on those trades and that's not what the purpose of these videos are. Um, so anyway, the pound is um, off for the, for the time being. I'm going to carry on watching this. I'm not going to call this a wrap because the... Um, there could be another trade coming this morning, so um, we're not going to call it a wrap just yet. I'm watching the euro dollar, and if the euro all rolls over, then there might be something on on the euro as well. So um, we'll press pause for now. Okay, just back, and as we can see, the pound has. I've been chatting here with the guys in the trading room, and the pound has actually come up. So the analysis was good, but um, stopped us out down here. It doesn't make any difference where that stop was. The stop at the original position still would have got stopped out. It's just one of those things. And before uh, people always say, "Oh, Charlie, should you have your stop just a pit below, you know, the lows or whatever?" Yes, I do. Um, and a lot of the time, it works absolutely fine. Um, but some, sometimes you have to put up with it um, the, when this this sort of thing happens. So sometimes there's a certain kind of market condition where um, I will give it a little bit more slack, but I didn't see that today. Um, but nevertheless, um, I'm quite pleased. The analysis was correct. So that's what, the way that I think that you should always take these things rather than... If you, you, I speak to so many traders who get negative when they have a losing trade or or um, get stopped out only for a trade to go in their direction. And I would say, well, actually turn it into a positive and say your analysis was correct. So give yourself a, a, a pat on the back. You're just unlucky on that one okay, on that occasion that you've got nicked out, got pipped, um, stopped out, only for it to go in your direction. So that's the way you should always try and put a positive slant on it and say, well, actually, my analysis is fine. Um, I'll monitor those, that stop placement. And you know if it's happening too often, on the stop placement, then maybe I, there's something I need to do with it. But um, but overall, my analysis is good, and so that's the way I should treat it, and so that's the way um, I advise. But anyway, so that's good that the pounds come up, um, but um, but not so good that I've missed out on it. But and it's frustrating, yes. But you have to just sort of dust it, dust down, and say, well, the analysis and the analysis was fine. Um, I just got nicked this morning, and that's about it. Right. I shall. Li I'm not going to put any more trades on now. We're mid morning. And um, this afternoon I'll be heading off. I know we've got some CAD news out at 1.30, but I think this video is long enough for today, so I won't be um, continuing the video today. So, um, but you know, overall there's some plenty of um, nice positions um, open at the moment. So we'll see what happens with um, some of those over the next week. But um, just keeping it tight there today. So I shall leave you to it. Enjoy your weekend. Back next week.